Today, I wanted to talk about my do's and don'ts for 2024, fashion trends that I think will be ending in 2023 or continuing for 2024 or just new trends overall for 2024. So first I'm gonna start off with the trends that I think are going to be ending in 2023. Distressed denim, they don't fit the overall macro trend of quiet luxury and Y2K. I think this has been done. This started really in during COVID 2020 and I think it ended 2021, but I'm still like seeing it at vintage markets and stuff like that. This is way beyond done, so just let this one let this one go bloke and bloke at core i i mean i liked this trend i just don't see it carrying on overall like i think it's a super micro trend and with that i think sambas are kind of dying i think they're still cute and they're good to have in your closet and obviously people are going to be wearing them keep wearing them i think we're just going to keep moving forward into like asics and pumas and I think people are also gonna start playing with dressier shoes more, like loafers in general, which we've already been seeing. And then also boxer shoes. This was supposed to be a trend last year. I've seen it a lot in trend predictions on all platforms and I did not see that play out. So not that it really showed up, but it was just supposed to be a trend. So it didn't even live, it's dead, it didn't even live. Another trend that has slowly been dying in 2023 and will continue dying into 2024 is logos like your Chanel signs, your Gucci signs on your shirts and everything like that. The excess of logos started post COVID because everybody wanted to dress up and get out and just everything was in excess. And so now Obviously we're moving towards the minimalism and quiet luxury as like the huge ma macro trend. So this just follows along with that. It doesn't really fit. Everyone's kind of just tired of seeing it. Less logos, more style. Also the Loewe sunglass, sunglasses that popped off this year, I think we're not going to see really as much in 2024. I liked them. I just, I think there was just so many dupes created. And I think once dupes are created, then that's when something starts to like get overdone and then the hype just falls off. So yeah, jorts. I am not mad about jorts and I'm sure people will wear them in 2024. I just think a lot more people in 2024 will realize that it it's not for them like me. It doesn't fit my my body type and my the length of my legs and the shape of my body and that's fine i only think i can wear them with heels but i i just think jorts are meant for longer legs and like a tinier frame so yeah i don't think it's gonna have the hype that it did this last year cargo pants and cargo skirts specifically the cargo skirt is dying with 2023 because I think it started to pop off with that Miu Miu cargo skirt set. Then all, like I said, all the dupes were made. You could get it like at Zara and Topshop and all of that. And the dupes never looked as good as the Miu Miu set and just looked cheap. And I don't think the fad is gonna continue in 2024. Also cowboy boots. I'm not mad about them. I have them. I love them. I will of course wear them. I just think they were styled so poorly um, because they were a trend this year and it just kind of gave me the ick. Yeah, I just, I don't think it's going to continue in 2024 the way that it was popping off in 2023. If you, if you wear it right, I'm not mad about it. Like, I don't know. I just kept seeing them with those Y2K slips and then the boots and like the slip looked cheap and then the boot didn't look right and like didn't hit the right length like they were too short it just was not it was it was not the vibe for me so flower chokers really popped off this year I like the flower choker I just I don't think 
it's gonna be on our radar in 2024. The Vivian Westwood Pearl Necklace, I feel like this was the year before, but I still was seeing it a lot this year and it's just so overplayed. Like, let's just let that one go. Like, let that, let that necklace and the Rick Owens go. Like, let's move forward. Crop tops do not fit the overall macro trend and they've already been slowly starting to fade out. We are going to see longer silhouettes more in 2024. Yeah, just 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 let less crop tops, which is nice because I feel like at one point I couldn't find a shirt that wasn't a crop top. So yeah, it's just nice to see more options. One more thing I want to add is denim maxi skirts. It really had its moment this year. And I think it's nice to have, don't, don't throw it out. I just think it'll be styled differently and not as big this year. I think it'll be styled more elegantly and just like with cooler shapes and silhouettes than this year. So it's not completely dead, but it had its moment. Two things that I wanted to mention that are supposed to be trends that I just want to say either I don't think so or I'm not going to be participating is first utility belts. I think they're cool and I think, you know, people are going to wear them. I just don't think, I wouldn't call it like a trend. I don't think it'll be that serious personally. And then also skinny jeans. I'm sure we will see skinny jeans. That is supposed to be the thing that's that's coming for us in 2024. But like I'm, I just want to say here that it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody's shape. I'm not going to be participating. It's not the most flattering for me. Moving on to things that I think will be trending for 2024. I kept the list. I had to shorten it down a little bit because I think there's things specific to spring and summer that I will save for a later video when it gets closer. So I'm trying to give you guys my broad guess for 2024. Ballet flats, this is nothing new. I just want to say that I think they definitely will continue into 2024 because they fit the macro trend of quiet luxury and have become more of a staple this year. So I think that we will be seeing a lot of square toed shoes, I think, in different variations, heels, boots, loafers. I really liked this Jacquemus square toe heel from the Le Choo Choo, if I said that right, collection. I am dying to get this in my closet. I think this contributed to the start of this trend. Pumps were a trend this year, which I thought was interesting because I think they're a staple, but I'm not, I'm not mad about the fact that like everyone's realizing they're just like the perfect shoe that goes with anything. So they never left to begin with and they'll definitely be a part of 2024. They fit quiet luxury, they fit everything. If you don't have pumps, like get started. The pantless trend started early, I wanna say like spring 2023 is when I started to see it. And I feel like it's grown throughout the year so I think it's just gonna continue to grow in 2024 I think more people are going to start trying it out and getting bolder with it with colorful tights still popping at the end of this year I for sure think we're going to see this in 2024 but with more textures like knit or fishnet tights and then also more patterns which I'm excited for the tights trend is not ending and I think we're gonna see it all of 2024 in different ways. I think that we are going to see purple more this year than we are used to seeing. It was seen a lot on the runway and in recent red carpet appearances. So I'm expecting that we're gonna see more purple this new year and especially lilac because pastels i think are going to be a thing for spring and summer i'm i'm interested i'm interested to just see purple getting styled more into people's 
outfits. I don't even think I have any purple. I genuinely believe blue is going to be the color for next year, especially spring and summer. The same way that red was the color for this past fall winter, blue. And I'm specifically saying like a, like a sky, like a light sky or baby blue, and then teal, like a teal kind of turquoise blue is going to be the color, uh, especially for spring, summer, 2024. Denim on denim is a classic style that got a lot of shine this year. I think this definitely will continue into the new year, but I think it's gonna be more darker denim, which it fits, it does fit the, I guess the quiet luxury a bit, but I don't know, the, the darker denim I think is gonna be, is gonna be the, the trend, I guess. Darker denim on darker denim. Metallics will continue into 2024, but more gold. So that can be anything. I mean, definitely gold accessories, which I'll get into, but like metallic dresses or pants or shoes. I already got a gold bodysuit, so yeah, we'll see. Sheer white dresses were shown a lot on the runway a lot of designers had at least one variation in their collections so i think we're going to see this next year and i'm excited about this because i think like a white dress is a staple so i'm just curious to see if a sheer white dress becomes a staple and what kind of variations will come out this year we'll see i'm excited so another thing I think we're going to be seeing is statement earrings. Specifically gold, think like chunky uh, 80s statement earrings or even mismatch earrings. I think for sure, for sure is going to be a trend. Like that's super 80s, so I wonder, I'm guessing there's like an influence there in future trends like Madonna with her mismatch earrings. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a vibe and just a cute, easy way to spice up our outfits. To add on to that, I noticed brooches started making an appearance toward the end of the year. So I think we can expect to see this in the new year in more creative ways, which I love, because I love accessorizing. Anyway, it definitely fits like the 80s accessories vibe. Also makeup, I can see a sparkly, glittery lid or lip gloss being a thing in 2024. Full makeup has already been kind of dying, which sucks. I'm like, if I'm doing my makeup, I'm doing my makeup. But it has been like, minimalism has been the thing and just toning everything down. So I think this is a fun step toward playing with makeup again. Cardigans are a staple, but I think we're going to see this a lot more in 2024, like chunkier knits with like bolder, maybe gold buttons. I think this is a trickle down from the Loewe Spring Summer 2024 show. I was obsessed with the looks and even just kind of the essence of that show, I just can see, I can see the vibe for 2024. And cardigans with like a skirt set, I think that's going to be a thing. I want that. I think we're gonna see a lot of sets in the new year, but kind of different, like, I wanna say like cozier sets, like chunkier, like sweaters with a, like a skirt that kind of, that matches, but it's just super like laid back and like luxurious at the same time. And in the same note, more mohair for 2024 is, I think is going to be a thing because we already started seeing it uh, 2023 spring, but it was more saturated colors, like, like more like fuchsia or like that electric blue. But I think we're going to see it this coming spring but with pastels, like 
baby pinks or yellows or like the light baby blue sky blue so same thing like a mohair sweater with a skirt just like sets like that I, I just I see that for 2024 and I'm 100% about that look and about that vibe because that's cozy and cute so yeah these are my do's and don'ts for 2024 um, what I think we're going to see and what I'm overseeing or think will be done so thank you for watching and yeah I'm excited for the new year happy new year